Cubs versus Dodgers today. Marcus Stroman versus Clayton Kershaw. Cubs look to split the series at two apiece. And in the bottom of the first, Cody Bellinger would get the scoring started with an RBI single to put the Cubs up one to nothing. Following that, Seiya Suzuki would add to the lead with a 2 nothing RBI single as well to give the Cubs a commanding lead in the early going of the game. But Mookie Betts would respond for the Dodgers in the top of the third inning with a two-run home run against Marcus Stroman. That's Betts' third homer of the year and Stroman's first allowed of the year. Uh, but in the fifth inning, Jan Gomes would get a homer for himself deep to left field to put the Cubs back up this time three to two but the Dodgers in the six would get a hold of Stroman uh, really one of his first rougher outings of the year Max Muncy would hit his MLB leading 11th home run and then JD Martinez would make it back to back with his solo home run here to give the Dodgers a 5-3 lead and get Stroman out of the game uh, at this point the game was actually still very close but in the top of the ninth, Michael Fulmer, who has struggled incredibly and probably needs to look to go to AAA soon or see very limited starts in low leverage positions, lets up a two-run uh, double to Mookie Betts to really put the game out of reach at 7-3. The Cubs had a chance in the ninth inning with bases loaded one out, but Nick Madrigal would hit into a double play in a situation where Edwin Rios should probably have been hitting. Uh, on a positive note, in the third inning, Marcus Stroman would get his 1,000th career strikeout. Uh, this was a big game for him. Not his best outing, but a big moment in his career. Stroman would pitch five innings today, allowing six hits, five runs, a walk, five strikeouts, and three homers. Brandon Hughes would come in and pitch the sixth and get two strikeouts. Keegan Thompson would pitch the seventh and eighth innings with a walk and two strikeouts. And Michael Fulmer would pitch the ninth, allowing two hits, two runs, a walk, and a strikeout. Cubs look to correct some recent woes against the Padres next, uh, but for now, not a terrible series against the Dodgers. They took one, would have liked to have taken two, but they'll look to improve.